Why do people thank God? This question has been asked for centuries across different cultures and religions. It seems simple on the surface, but the reasons behind it are deeply rooted in human psychology and societal norms. It's a simple question, but the answer is complex. Gratitude is a powerful emotion that can shape our lives in profound ways. It can bring us comfort in times of distress and joy in moments of happiness. Many people believe in a higher power. This belief provides a sense of purpose and meaning, a way to make sense of the world around them. It offers a framework for understanding life's challenges and blessings. They turn to this power in times of need. When faced with difficulties, people often seek solace in prayer, hoping for divine intervention or guidance. This act of turning to a higher power can provide a sense of relief and hope. They offer thanks when things go their way. When their prayers are answered or when they experience good fortune, they express their gratitude. This act of giving thanks reinforces their belief in a benevolent higher power. This impulse to thank God is deeply ingrained in many cultures. It is passed down through generations, becoming a part of the collective consciousness. Cultural rituals and traditions often emphasize the importance of gratitude. From a young age, people are taught to pray. Children learn to express gratitude through prayers and rituals, which become a part of their daily lives. This early education shapes their understanding of gratitude and its significance. They are taught to express gratitude for blessings. Whether it's saying grace before a meal or giving thanks for a successful harvest, these practices instill a sense of appreciation for the good things in life. But what are these blessings? And where do they come from? Are they truly gifts from a higher power? or are they the result of our own efforts and the natural course of events? This question challenges the traditional notion of divine intervention. This essay will explore the nature of gratitude. It will delve into the psychological and social aspects of this emotion, examining how it influences our behavior and relationships. It will also consider the role of gratitude in different cultural and religious contexts. It will question the idea of thanking God. By exploring alternative perspectives, we can gain a deeper understanding of gratitude and its origins. This inquiry will encourage us to think critically about our beliefs and practices. It will argue for a more rational and evidence-based approach to gratitude. By grounding our understanding of gratitude in scientific research and empirical evidence, we can develop a more nuanced and comprehensive view of this powerful emotion. Belief in God provides comfort. It offers a sense of security in an uncertain world. People turn to faith for many reasons. They seek solace in times of grief. They look for hope when facing challenges. The belief that someone is listening, that someone cares, is powerful. It can provide strength and resilience. This is especially true in difficult times. When faced with illness, loss, or hardship, people often find solace in their faith. But is this comfort based on reality? Or is it a form of self-soothing, a way to cope with the unknown? Believers often thank God for miracles, they credit God for answered prayers. But what about when prayers go unanswered? What about when tragedy strikes? Consider the case of a natural disaster. A devout person might survive and thank God for sparing them. But what about those who perished? Where is the justice in their loss? These events challenge the idea of a benevolent God. They force us to confront the randomness of life. They highlight the limits of faith. Instead of attributing events to divine intervention, we should recognize the power of human action. Doctors, nurses, and first responders work tirelessly to save lives. Scientists and researchers dedicate their careers to finding cures for diseases. These individuals deserve our gratitude. They are the ones who make a tangible difference in the world. Their efforts are based on evidence, not faith. Their work is a testament to human ingenuity, compassion, and perseverance. These are the qualities we should celebrate and emulate. Section 5. Thanking the Source Of course, it's natural to feel grateful for the good things in life. We should appreciate our health, our loved ones, and the beauty of the world around us. But we should direct our gratitude to the Source. We can thank the farmers who grow our food, the artists who inspire us, the teachers who educate us. These individuals deserve our appreciation. They make our lives richer and more fulfilling. Their contributions are tangible and demonstrable. Their work is a testament to human creativity and collaboration. Section 6. The Limits of Faith Faith, by definition, requires belief without evidence. It asks us to accept things on trust without questioning. While faith can provide comfort, 
it can also limit our understanding of the world. When we rely solely on faith, we may fail to seek out real solutions to problems. We may miss opportunities to learn and grow. We may become complacent, accepting the status quo without challenging injustice or inequality. It is through critical thinking, through questioning and exploring, that we truly advance as a species. Section 7. The Importance of Critical Thinking In today's fast-paced and information-rich world, the ability to think critically is more important than ever. It is a skill that allows us to process information in a logical and unbiased manner. Critical thinking encourages us to ask questions, to seek evidence, and to challenge assumptions. It pushes us to go beyond the surface and delve deeper into the issues at hand, fostering a mindset of curiosity and inquiry. It is essential for personal growth, for scientific progress, and for making informed decisions in our daily lives. Whether we are analyzing data in a lab, reading a book, or simply making choices about our health and well-being, critical thinking plays a crucial role and for a just and equitable society. It empowers us to recognize and address social injustices, to advocate for change, and to engage in meaningful dialogue with others. When we apply critical thinking to our beliefs, we open ourselves up to new perspectives and ideas. This self-reflection is vital for personal development and for fostering a more inclusive and understanding community. We are better equipped to navigate the complexities of the world. From solving complex problems in a classroom to making strategic decisions in our careers, critical thinking provides us with the tools we need to succeed. We are less likely to be swayed by dogma or superstition, instead we rely on reason and evidence to guide our actions and beliefs, making us more resilient in the face of misinformation and manipulation, we are more likely to make decisions based on reason and evidence. This rational approach is particularly important in professional settings, where the stakes are high and the consequences of poor decision-making can be significant. This is not to say that faith has no place in society. Faith can provide comfort, community, and a sense of purpose. However, it is important to balance faith with critical thinking. However, faith should not be exempt from scrutiny. By examining our beliefs critically, we can ensure that they are well-founded and that they contribute positively to our lives and the lives of others. It should be subject to the same standards of evidence and rationality as any other belief system. In doing so, we create a society that values truth, justice, and mutual respect, where diverse opinions can coexist and be debated constructively. Section 8. Gratitude Without Illusions Gratitude is a powerful emotion. It can foster happiness, strengthen relationships, and improve overall well-being. But gratitude should be grounded in reality not in wishful thinking. When we base our gratitude on tangible actions and support, it becomes more meaningful. It allows us to appreciate the contributions of others and to acknowledge the role they play in our lives. This kind of gratitude is honest. It is authentic. It reflects a genuine understanding of the interconnectedness of human experience. Section 9. Embracing a Rational View A rational view of gratitude recognizes the limits of faith. It acknowledges the power of human action. It encourages us to seek out the source of our blessings and to express our appreciation directly. This approach to gratitude is not about denying the existence of a higher power. It is about taking responsibility for our own lives and recognizing the contributions of those around us. It is about embracing a worldview that is grounded in evidence, reason, and compassion. Section 10. A More Meaningful Gratitude When we shift our focus from thanking God, to thanking the people and forces that truly impact our lives, our gratitude becomes more profound. It becomes a call to action, a reminder to pay it forward. If we are grateful for the sacrifices of others, we are more likely to make sacrifices ourselves. If we appreciate the beauty of the natural world, we are more likely to protect it. This is the true power of gratitude. It inspires us to create a better world for ourselves and for future generations. Section 11 Conclusion, Shifting Perspectives In this final section we delve into the profound concept of shifting perspectives, a notion that can transform our understanding of gratitude and appreciation. The question of why people thank God is complex. It is a practice deeply embedded in various cultures and religions, a tradition passed down through generations. This act of giving thanks is not just a ritual, but a reflection of our deepest beliefs and values. It is rooted in faith, culture and the human need for comfort. Faith provides a sense of security and hope, culture offers a sense of belonging, 
and comfort is derived from the assurance that there is a higher power watching over us. These elements intertwine to create a powerful force that shapes our worldview. But it is a question worth asking. Why do we feel the need to express gratitude in this way? By exploring this question, we can uncover deeper insights into our own motivations and the ways in which we connect with the world around us. By shifting our perspective, by grounding our gratitude in reality, we can cultivate a more meaningful and impactful appreciation for the good in our lives. This means recognizing the tangible sources of our blessings, such as the people who support us, the opportunities we have, and the beauty of the natural world. We can begin to see the world and our place in it with greater clarity and purpose. This clarity allows us to act with intention, to contribute positively to our communities, and to find fulfillment in the everyday moments that might otherwise go unnoticed. Let us embrace a gratitude that is based on evidence driven by compassion and fueled by a desire to make a positive difference in the world. By doing so, we not only enrich our own lives but also inspire those around us to adopt a similar outlook. Together we can create a ripple effect of positivity and kindness, making the world a better place for all.